We're here at Anderson Arena with head coach Kerry Turner after your team won 195-7 to 195-050 over Kent State on senior day. I'm sure a lot of things to be excited about. What were your just general thoughts about the meet today? Well, I was just really proud of the effort the athletes put in. Um, last week we had a little change in schedule and they put together a meet that night and we talked a lot about the fact that they seemed um, really focused, but a little, um, they just looked like it was a little bit easier for them. They were calm, but excited, and, you know, kind of this plus and minus there, but um, it really helped them focus in on the routine. And tonight, it was the same thing. They were all very excited when the athletes were going, but they had more of a confident look to them. Um, and obviously for the seniors, oh, I'm so happy for them. What a great way to finish out their careers at BGSU. Um, I've been, this is my 12th season here. We've never beat Penn State. So I can tell you that, you know, I was almost in tears at the end of the meet, just thinking it's such an honor for this team to finish out, um, you know, kind of a rocky start to a year and now a really strong finish. Really proud of them. And you talked about the seniors. I'm going to ask you about them in a little bit, but you did touch on beating Kent State, which hadn't been done since 2002. You hadn't beaten them in Bowling Green since 1999. I know we've, we've talked so many times about how, you know, wins don't really mean as much if, you, if you're not happy with your score, but uh, Kent State and really Central Michigan are two programs that have really been at the top of the MAC, and you guys have been, you know, rising through the years, and how, mu how much really does it mean to beat them to kind of, you know, you're right there with them now? Yeah, I think it just shows the, the work we put in. I mean, we have been trying to grow this program, and we've really seen it begin to accelerate over the last few years and this is just one more um, one more sign that you know we are getting it all together and you know certainly for the other teams you know within the MAC conference and within the country that know the Central and Kent are kind of powerhouses to see us be able to beat Kent um, at the end of the season when we should all be in peak form that really does say a lot for what our athletes are able to put together and um, you know we, we're really we're there we need to just keep pushing and doing what we're doing um, because we, we should be walking into Max next weekend um, winning that week. And getting back to the score a little bit though, 195-7, the sixth best score in program history, the best score this year. Um, can you just talk about, because there's there kind of a lot of pressure going into the meet knowing that you may only have, you know, two more chances to improve your regional qualifying score and you certainly did that today. What does it show about the team to kind of know that uh, a big meet and you really need to put up a good score and now you're in a, a good position going into Max next weekend? Yeah, I mean, we really didn't talk about regionals this week. They know it's there, it's looming around us, but uh, I've been trying to take some of that pressure off. I think when we had such a strong start to the season, the first meet of the year, and then we dipped down, I almost feel like they started to put too much pressure on themselves. and. The meets where we've done that, that's where they've had some mistakes. So we've focused more on celebrating performances and not worrying about the scores. We can't control if the judges are going to judge really tight or if they're going to be, you know, kind of loose with the scoring. And tonight we had to earn our scores. They weren't going to just hand them to us. So I think that's been an important key to this team is that, um, you know, we needed to beat that 195.5. That was our previous high score so that we can count it in our RQS. And um, they just wanted to come out here and put together a good, solid meet, and they really did that. And I'm excited. I'm really excited to go to Max, knowing that we've got, a, you know, a realistic shot to go to the NCAA postseason. We just we helped ourselves out tonight quite a bit. And then getting back to your seniors, uh, Jamil Ali won vault. Um, others performed well too, but I know you could talk on and on about them, yeah. but uh, you know, all four of their years, the teams really improved. All those years, just. How much have these seniors meant to your program? Absolutely, we've talked about it. I mean, we've, I've, I've had great days with them. I've had really tough days with them. They would tell you that. We've, we've been, um, there's always been sometimes a bit of a struggle there, but we've all wanted the same thing. They wanted to be great. They didn't want to be good. They wanted to be great. And, um, you know, I, I feel like we were trying to push them to do that. And um, it's just awesome to see the impact that they've made. And, you know, some of the leadership they brought to the team and really just understanding that there's a reason for everything. There's a reason for the process that we go through throughout the entire year to get the team ready and to be on board with that. You know, I really do appreciate it and we will miss them, you know, quite a bit next year.
And I also wanted to ask you about Rachel Rice, who won bars with a nine, a career high nine eight five, and uh, she hadn't competed in the last three meets and uh, stepped up big today. How awesome was it to see that? Yeah, you know, unfortunately, Laura Mitchell had an ankle sprain this week, and we decided to rest her to get her ready for Max. And um, Rachel Rice has been exhibitioning on bars, so we knew she's waiting in the wings, kind of ready to go, and then. For her to step in and just step up like that, I mean, I think it shows that she wants to be in that bar lineup. You know, it's certainly going to give us something to talk about as we go into who's going to be in for Max next week. Um, but she swung a beautiful routine, and um, I, I love that about this team, that we, we've we almost never had the same lineup week to week. We've had to put people in and move people around, and we're that deep that we're able to do that. Um, and, you know, missing Laura Mitchell on beam, for example, you know, it wasn't a huge problem for us around bars, and even though she's fantastic on those events, we have the we have the team to step in and make sure we get it all done. So, really, uh, you know, gives me a lot of pride in, in what we've done with this group, and, and says a lot about them and their willingness to kind of go with that when we when we've changed it around so much. And then, lastly, we've talked about it a few times now. Uh, a week from today is MAC Championships at Kent State. Uh, just talk a little bit about kind of where you go from here and, you know, just getting ready for that meet. Yeah, I mean, Max is a week from today and um, we will start on a bye, which is great. We can march out and then go back to the locker room and take our time and then we'll be coming out on bars. And we've really made improvements on that event. You know, we compete that event well now and it will be great to really knock out bars and beam and then finish strong on floor and vault. Um, we're going there to win. I mean, we want to come out of there the champions. We've got the team to do it. We are going to have to hit everything. The MAC is very close right now. Um, but I think the focus will still be on those performances and not letting that pressure seep in. They have to be enjoying the experience to their best. So we will spend all week working on those tiny little details, getting their mindset right, and then walking in there and just trying to perform our very, very best. All right. Thank you, Coach.